we always go get donuts and stuff for the church every other Sunday. And then I, I went and got the donuts, come over here, and uh, I had to climb in that, that second window there to get in there because the door was locked. Stan Southwick says what should have been a normal Sunday morning routine turned into a nightmare when he found his 71-year-old brother, Merle Southwick, dead in his home. He's just a good brother. He always was there for me. Southwick's best friend says Merle's loss is one that will impact more than just his inner circle. In the community, we, you know, he would cook and feed everybody, and I feed the homeless, so he would help me a lot by donating, giving me food and clothing and stuff like that. Calling him a helper with a big heart. He was a big brother to me. If I needed anything or needed help with anything, he was right there for me. Now the family says they want to honor Merle and the man he was with a proper funeral and burial. Plus, OKC police say they need the public's help in finding out who killed him and why. I don't understand it. I just don't. And it's very heartbreaking because he didn't deserve it. He's always been with me. I don't know what I'm going to do now. The family has a GoFundMe to help with unexpected costs. We have that link on KOCO.com. Reporting Elise Jones, KOCO 5 News.